Good morning, y'all. Come on in. I'm about to head out the door to get some grocery shopping done, but I couldn't leave without showing you this quick, quick video. Last night, Mr. Donnie, you commented about biscuits with that chicken stew, and I thought, oh, that recipe. So I pulled out my book. Look at all these recipes. <laughs> and I had forgotten about these little miniature sour cream biscuits. Many of you commented that you wanted to make that chicken stew and these biscuits would be a great addition to it. Now, I make a homemade biscuit where I roll it out. I make a biscuit where I use a cookie scoop, scoop it out on my iron skillet. I like a variety of recipes for many different reasons. I don't believe that there's just one way to do anything or that there's one way for every family. So this is gonna be great for some of you who don't wanna make a whole pan of biscuits, you just want something smaller. These are little miniature sour cream biscuits. I've got my mini muffin tin. This only, this recipe I'm about to give you is only gonna make 12 little bitty biscuits, which is perfect for most people. But if you have a large family or you wanna make a lot and stick some in the fridge, just double it. Olive oil spray, then I'm just gonna grease up 12 of these muffin tins. I have that oven hot already. It's preheated to 425. I have one cup of buttermilk bacon mix. I like the Pioneer brand. I don't use it a ton, but sometimes when you need something really quick, sausage balls, if you don't wanna do homemade pancakes, this makes a really good pancake as well. One cup. It also makes these good little biscuits. Four tablespoons of melted butter. Half a cup of sour cream. Y'all, that's it. And if you're watching this and you didn't see the chicken stew video, go back on my timeline and watch it. Just mix it together until all of that bacon mix is absorbed and just divide it out. I use a tablespoon and just scoop them out. It takes, I promise, a minute to do this. <laughs> That's it. 425 for about 13 to 15 minutes. I err on the side of 15 because I like my biscuits to be a little crunchier. And you have these little muffins. Perfect little bites. Your kids will love these. And if you just don't want a whole lot of biscuits or a whole pan of biscuits, these are the perfect amount. But beware, these are the poppable size and you can put down a few before you realize. <laughs> these are so good. Ooh. It has that butter cooked in it. I don't even add butter to it. Mmm. But remember I said, these are very dangerous. I wanna tell you what else these are good for. I made these because of the chicken stew. These are also good with breakfast, some jam, some homemade preserves on these. And also, if you have like, say you have a brunch shower and you're doing brunch type food, these are good on a platter with a variety of different jellies and jams because these are party size. So just a little tip or hint for you to file away in the back of your mind if you're ever preparing brunch for an event or anything. Y'all have a good day. I'm off to grocery shop. Oh, Lord, you know, it's part of it. You got to go do it. See you guys later. Have a great weekend. Bye.